story, story tonight. Yes! Be ready, I will tell you a very nice story. Yeah. Yeah. Ogogo, tell us the story about the tortoise and the rabbit. No, I'm not tired of that one. Oh. Okay, tell us the story of how the tortoise cracked its back. No! I want to hear the story about Treasure Chem and the Great. Yes. No! 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 No story. Wow. If you look up the sky, you see a full moon. That means that our story tonight must be told in time before the moon disappears in the sky. I will tell you a big story. A story that will take you back to the times of your great grandfathers and their father's father. A time when men were men, were known by their deeds and actions. I will also take you to the kingdom of Umuago and to the royal house of Ibubechi. The royal household have waited for this moment. For nine years, the queen had remained fruitless, but the gods had their rights. Relax, Your Majesty. The birth of royalty is not like that of a common. Be patient. Yes, I know, but this is taking too long. I know, but be relaxed. This protracted suspense is such a big torture to me. I know what you mean, My Majesty. Be patient. All right, I've heard you. My son. My son. My son. Royalty is always heralded by the gods. For the lion only begets a lion. Just 
destiny shall be glorious. His birth, a blessing to this land. He shall sit on the throne of his fathers. And like his fathers before him, he shall have life in abundance. His reign shall be great. His life full of history. His life shall be significant to this community. Even for generations to come. Efuru has blessed him. So have the gods prophesied. Blessed of the gods, you shall lack nothing. You will rule over your people. You will succeed me on the throne. The wishes of the people you rule over shall always remain your command. And may the gods make your reign fruitful. At last, God has sent me a son, a successor. Yes. Gods, gods, come! Get the town crier to announce the birth of a royal successor. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes. And tell all the palm wine tappers uh, to bring their products to the palace. The birth of my successor calls for royal celebration. Indeed. Hurry! Yes, oh yes. The gods are definitely wise and their ways are known to men. But as the land celebrated with the royal household somewhere in another place and time. A world where there is no beginning and no end. Another kind of celebration was going on. I will be born into a house of riches. Make them poor. Then make them suffer to their death. I will fall sick each time they have money. And then I will die on every tenth per day. And I will make them to suffer. <laughs> I will die every day. Then come back. Then come back. so much and yet your body is so cold Ike Mifuna Ike 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 Mifuna Ike 
So cold. I want to sleep. I'm feeling sleep. He came here for He came. Are you okay? Mama said I'm fine. I just want to sleep. Okay. Sleep. If you want to sleep, sleep. Are you playing with <laughs> nobody? <laughs> but I thought I saw you give you. And who are you eating with? As you can see, I'm not eating with anybody, and there's nobody here. You're eating alone? Yeah. Then who dropped all these pieces of yam and oil that I'm seeing? I don't know. When I came here, it was here. It was here? Mm. 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 <laughs> what is happening here? I heard he came talking and eating with some people. <laughs> he came. Were you talking to anybody? Mama is a liar, you is a liar. As you can see, I'm the only person here. And, and she said that I, I was talking and eating with some people. I heard him talking and eating with some people. I even saw crumbs of ye Crumbs of what? Crumbs of what? Eh? If I'm mama, mama hungry, this one will not be enough. I need more. You want more food? <laughs> eh? You eat too much. Nana, get him some more food. Instead of standing there, go and get him some more yam. I came to ask you if you will go with the Igwe to go and see your boyfriend, Nolly. I may. You may. I'll quit from Tigai. Just when you are Eh? 
you will go with him. That is how to learn to be an Igwe. So that when your time comes, nobody has to teach you, okay? In fact, I, I will think about it. You will think about it. <laughs> Ma, there's no more yam in the pot. What do you mean there's no more yam in the pot? Did you not cook the yam I asked you to cook? I filled the pot with yam. So what happened to it? I don't know. Are you trying to say I finished the whole pot of yam? Eh? You see this you're dreaming, you started again. And I'm not going to take it. Go and cook something else for him to eat. And hurry up. Ike Mefuna, when did he, eh? Uh, she will soon get you more yam, okay? Yes, Let me go and see the Igwe, I'm coming. Yes, Mm -hmm. There's something worrying me. Yeah, that's nothing new. You're always worrying over one thing or the other. So what is it this time? No, it's Ike Mifuna. So what about him? I don't understand him. You know, you see him this minute playing with his friends, having fun. And then the next moment, he appears to be ill. And then... The next minute is as if nothing ever happened. It is strange. I don't understand it. How can you understand when you spend all your time worrying over that boy? Listen, boys not the boys. They must get injured. They must recover. They must fall sick. Listen, that was how we all grew up. Don't you know that? Igwe, this is, it's more than worrying. I mean, this thing has been on for years. In the morning, he appears to be ill. And then in the afternoon, he's okay. Then in the night again, he appears to be ill. Oh, Nani, I got a room, I, I don't right, understand. All right, What do you want us to do? Well, I was thinking, considering he's going to be the next Igwe after you, don't you think we should find out... What are you implying? That my son is not worthy to succeed me on that throne as the Igwe? No, 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 is that what you're trying to make no, no, me understand? No, 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 Igwe. Huh? But Nani, I, I'm sorry. Because, why are we? No, don't let me hear you mention that in this place again. Oh, no. Have you heard me? Yeah, no. Have you heard me? Yeah, no. Come back to what you're doing. with you? I'm fine. Yeah. I ride the car. Yes, ma'am. I'm fine. I'm on fine. Mama, you see, I, I can play this thing very well, though. I can play it, see. Yes, mama. Just watch me play this song. Okay. I can play it very well. I can play it. 
play this thing very, very well. Me, me and my friends used to play it. After you start taking it like this, you bring it like this. As time went by, so did the young prince grow. But there was something about him his parents did not know. There is something strange about Ikemefuna. I don't understand. I have been in this royal household for so many years. My eyes have seen so many things since he was born. At times, I think I am imagining things. And what makes you think you're not imagining things? Because I am sure of what I am seeing. Then what is it? Only one thing. What? I think that boy is Obanje. Eh? Oh, no, no, no. Nana, do you know what you're saying? I know it sounds incredible, but that is the only explanation to what has been wrong with him. Why haven't you told Akunne? She won't believe me. Nobody will. That is why I am telling you. Something has to be done before it is too late. Yes. Don't worry. I will tell her about it. Well done. Is your mother in? Check, yes. Check. Akunne! Lala! Lala, na kuyaye! Akunne! You can be for now. Your time is almost over. Your mother lost it too much. Don't forget the oath. You can be for now. There is no time. You must come back to us. You must come back to us. I know. It's just time. It's just time. There is no time. You must come back to us. Come back to us. Come back to us. Don't go. He came up. 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 Get it for. In a large one, look. I'm tired and weak. But you were saying leave me alone. I want to sleep. Laro, Laro, no. Kanje bezen kunaka Kanje bezen kunaka Kankili kubo tunisi Kankili kalo tunimi Nubo tunisi na lo tunimi Egu adanari mobi It's almost time. I am not ready. But you made an oath. I am not ready. No one pays the oath. Can't I change my mind? No. This is not possible. But I am not ready. I am not ready. You be prepared. It's almost time. Mm -hmm. Stop it. 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 St
Gunungan. Who are you talking to? No, no one. But we just heard you talking to yourself. I was just talking to myself. Can't I just talk to myself? Is it normal for you to talk to yourself? No, I'm coming. Let me go and see you, Chase. Somebody else should take care of this. I don't that the gods deprive me of another child. Look at my only son, he came in for now. I have told you to stop thinking about it. But how can I? How many more tears do I have to shed night after night? How much pain do I have to hide in my heart? Look at he came in for now. My only child. Have I not tried, Obi? On. This minute it just passes out like someone out of this world. And then the next moment, it's as if nothing ever happened. Wabi, I don't understand this mysterious ailment. When I look into his face, it scares me. Lolo, do you really think it's an ailment? What do you mean? Have you never heard of those children born to die? Look at it. He has always been sick from birth. I heard he talked to strange things you cannot see. And other mysterious things. Those are the signs of Ogbanje. Shut up! You dare call my son an Ogbanje? You dare call my own son an Ogbanje? You? You? Please, Your Majesty, please, I was just... You were just trying to do what? Equal. You were only trying to do what? Equal. Silence and keep out of this. Mm -hmm. For the sacrilege you have committed with your mouth, you'll be banished from this community. Hey. Gods! Igwe, please, Igwe, please now. Take this woman to the outskirts of town and leave her there. She has been banished from this community. Take her out! Listen to me. Nobody insults this throne and gets away with it. Get out of here! And if you ever try to come back, every little child of this community owes himself an obligation to stone you to death. Take her out! Take her out! We've been friends since childhood. You should have pardoned her. The ties of royalty, my dear, are stronger than the ties of friendship. That woman insulted not just my son, but also the throne. Hmm? And I'm happy she got what she deserved. But she was only trying to help. Whatever it was she was trying to do, what she committed was sacrilege. I don't want to hear any word about this again. Okay, you Son, uh, one day you will sit upon that throne and you will rule this land as the Igwe. Hmm? Mm -hmm. There is something I want you to know. What is it, Father? That throne you're looking at is sacred. And anybody who sits on that throne is also sacred. From the moment you are born, 
you are blessed of the gods. You symbolize the gods. They invest you with all their authority. You are an agent of the gods. If anybody breathes one ill word against the throne, it's an affront to the gods. It's a crime deserving of the death penalty. Uh, but father, why is it like that? Because whoever insults the throne challenges the authority invested on you by the gods. It is our tradition. Son, you may not understand what I am telling you now, but when you're old enough and you occupy that throne, you will know what I am talking about. my friend it is well it is not well Wabuzo, it is not well why have the gods been this unkind to me just, just look look at my son why do you talk like that your majesty why should i not talk like that for years the gods deprived me of children and finally they gave me a son and afflicted him with such ailments have been puzzled completely. Look at him. I don't even know if this boy is alive or dead. And you're telling me that I should talk like this? Patience, your majesty. What do you mean by patience, of Yabala? You counsel patience. Will patience cure my son? Will patience cure my son? What legacy will I leave for posterity? This is the only successor to my throne. Look at Look at him. Just look at him. Your Majesty. Strange are the ways of the gods. 
Remember, it will be well, my friend. The priestess is here. And the millipede. They may both crawl on their bellies, but that does not make them brothers. Mm. The changing colors of the chameleon can only deceive the foolish. It cannot deceive me. Deceive the daughter of Efu, the goddess of the pure and the innocent, the goddess of the unseen. It cannot deceive me. Oh. You know that I see you. You, you know that I see you. Oh, I see you. I know you. Yes! Igwe! To Fiakwa! That thing is not your son. What do you mean by that? He does not belong to you. Why do you refer to my son as that thing? He belongs to others. Must be out of your mind. <laughs> my son belongs to others. That thing is an open jet. Before they finally claim him, his soul is in limbo. We must move fast. Wise one, I can't understand. On the day he was born, you gave him your blessings. You said he was chosen by the gods. You said he had a destiny with the gods. Now, why this sudden twist in his fortunes? I can't understand. Please help me. Remember that I said on the day that he was born that his life will be significant to this land. Such is the mystery of the spirit that inhabits the Awanje. Deceptive, yet deadly. Daughter of a fool. Please save my son. He's the only child that I have. I beg of you. Please. We can only but try. But the spirit that inhabits the Obanje is shrouded in mystery. It's shrouded in the mystery of life and death. It is so powerful that it destroys itself at an appointed time that it has promised its kindred spirits. The oath 
The oath, the oath that they take is meant never to be broken. Great one, if he dies, the land falls to pieces. You don't understand. His life force, the symbol of his oath to his kindred spirits must be brought here. It is only then that we can talk of saving him. Christus, where is that life force? How can we find it? Let me send my finest soldiers, my finest warriors. Where can we find this life force? <laughs> Igwe, did you say warriors? It is not a journey to be made by warriors. Very few have succeeded in doing it in times long past. It is a journey to be made not only by those pure in body, but also by those pure in heart. It is a journey to be made by seven maidens who can only be chosen by the goddess of the pure and the innocent. Efuru, my mother herself. Did you say that nobody has ever ventured into the evil forest and come out alive? A difficult task, I said. A difficult task. But that is the only way. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Please save my son. I'll do anything for you. I'll give you anything you want. But please save my son. He's the only one I have, the successor to my throne. If he dies, my lineage is terminated. Please. Please. Daughter of him. Please. I beg you. They want him more than you do. is running out for him. He must be brought to the abode of the goddess of the pure and innocent. He must be brought to the abode of my mother so that the spirits of Efuru will sanctify him. Son alone. Why don't they take me and leave my son alone? What has he done? <sighs> Maybe Abigail was right after all. Yes, she was right. My young person. God! Take him.
of Umago, listen to the command of His Majesty. As the sun begins to rise tomorrow, all virgin maidens in the land are needed at the palace. Mothers are to make sure their daughters come home. Only virgin maidens are needed, though. So has the way commanded. You look so sad. For one chosen to save the land, you shall realize that it is a great honor. Mama, I, I, I don't think it's an honor to die. I heard that no one has ever gone to the land of the dead and come back. But there is always the first time, my child. What? What if no one returns from the journey, Mama? What if the prince cannot be saved? The gods will not give us problems greater than us. When calamity approaches, deliverance is not far away. There is something I've never told you before. What is it, Mama? I used to be a great warrior. Fought many commonwealth battles. I lost my family and my loved ones. I... I never knew that. It is a great honor, my child, to fight for your land. Buche. Yes, Papa. You know that ever since your mother died, I have tried to bring you up to be strong and be good. Now is the time to use all that you have learned. As you go on this journey, my daughter. Don't worry, Papa. I will never let you down. I know, my child. I know. I wish you were a son. But I want you to remember that no matter what, I'll keep thinking of you till you come back. How come, Papa? I'll come back. But... But if I don't come back... If I don't come back... Don't forget me, Papa. I'll never forget you, my daughter. You will come back. You will come back, my daughter. land. You carry with you the flames of the hopes of our people. You carry the burden of the past and the future. Yes, you are the link between the past and the future. And for three days and three nights, you will be with me in the shrine so that I 
will teach you. And I will give you the weapons that you will need on a journey such as this one. Efuru! She will guide you. It will not be easy. I know. It will not. Because the journey you undertake is a very perilous one. Some of you may not come back. Some of you may come back. Indeed, all of you might not even come back. But I want to assure you, that if anything happens to any of you, it affects us in this community. And this community of ours will not be at peace. And because of that, I expect that you shall all return. I will invoke the spirits of our forefathers to guide you as you go. Efuru will also protect you I look toward the sky and I see showers of blessings raining down from above. That is an endorsement from the gods that you shall return. You have my blessing. Go in peace. You must all learn to sing them with your heart, your whole heart, because there are one way that you must learn to fight evil. But mother, they say the evil forest is filled with spirits we cannot see. How do we fight what we do not see? What the heart sees is greater than what the eyes can ever see. You all must not only know this, but you must learn it as well. What you will be fighting against on this journey can only be revealed to those whose heart does not hold envy, jealousy, hatred. Only those with a true heart. That is your greatest weapon that will conquer all. Mother. How long is this journey? Seven days. Seven days. You all must be back here in seven days. It is a journey filled with obstacles. 
over mountains, rivers, valleys, through the land of the dead, through the land of a thousand demons, till you get to the world of a bunch. There you will find what you seek. Mother, is it wrong to be afraid? What is wrong is to let fear dominate you. But, but how? You must let your fear stimulate in you courage and strength. And as long as you believe in this sacrifice that you are making, so shall it be. Mother, when do we begin the journey? By sunrise, in two days time, by then, you all will have been fortified for the task ahead. And The living and the dead will meet in combat and you all will be the warriors of Efuru and you will fight, you will return. Daughters, in these waters of Efuru, the final preparation for your journey is about to begin. The final test of all that I have taught you will begin tomorrow morning at dawn when you will begin your journey. The moment I put this herb in your mouth, no word must escape till the final rites are over.
my heart is heavy. And so are the hearts of your parents, your well wishes, and every member of this community. If I had an option, I would have sent warriors in your place. From your parents, I demand understanding and patience for the sacrifice you're about to make. From this moment on, you are all heroines of this land. The entire destiny of this community rests squarely on your shoulders. Should any of you come back here with the egg of life, and you restore life to my son. You will not only be a royal bride, but in addition, you'll be entitled to a large chunk of the wealth of this community. I wish you all the best. I have spoken. And so it shall be. upon for centuries, but I know that Efuru, she will protect you, she will guide you, just as the mother hen protects her chicks. Hmm. I want some of you, no, all of you to bid your final farewells to your families because some of you might never see this land again. <laughs> Father. 
Remember your promise. Don't ever forget me. Mama! I'm a good one. <laughs> Tell her to stop crying. Tell her that I'll come back <clears throat> and I'll get her a very big grass cutter, okay? I... Please be strong. <laughs> I'm like, what if I don't come back? <laughs> you come back, my daughter. <laughs> your spirit will be with me. And I will remember your ways. Mama, please pray for me. I will. You will go in peace and you will come back in peace. <laughs> My daughter, I have to see you. I wanted to give you this. Mama, what is this? They are my weapons of war and good luck charm. You will need all the luck in the world now. Take it. You might need them. If I ever come back, Mama. If I ever come back. No, my child. Courage. Courage is what you need, my child. I have to go home. Be a good boy. <laughs> Yes! Every will protect you. Go well, my daughter. Efuru shall protect you. Go well, my daughter. Efuru will protect you. Go well, my daughter. Furu will protect you. Efuru will guide you. You will return. Go well. <laughs> 